お疲れ様です。What does this phrase mean and how can you use it? Well, this is probably one of the most important greetings that you haven't learned yet. You might know some greetings in Japanese like konnichiwa, uh, konbanwa, but this is a greeting that Japanese people use all the time with each other. So, let's see what's going on here. So, what we have here is o tsuka, and it's a kanji. Re, another hiragana, sama, another kanji. And this. The first thing to look at is that this here is, of course, a polite ending that we add to give the sense of saying sir or ma'am in a sentence. So、uh, we can kind of ignore, ignore that for right now.、Uh, the first thing we have here is o. So o is an honorific particle. Usually we only use this particle o when referring to certain things that don't have to do with ourselves as the speaker. So, I myself usually don't refer to anything that has to do with me with an o, but there are several set words and expressions like this particular o here in o tsukare sama desu, where you want to use it because it gives a sense of respect to the person who's listening to you. So let's look at the root word here. The most important one is tsukare. Tsukare is from the verb tsukareru, which means to be tired or exhausted. So that's the idea that's going on here. The kanji tsuka on its own it has to do with fatigue, being exhausted. Tsukare means tired, tired, or exhausted, or fatigued. So that's the idea. The idea being conveyed by this is fatigue. Okay, so that's interesting. This is a greeting,、We're、talking about fatigue.、Let's、see what happens. So then we have sama. What sama means is a few different things. You may know that. In Japanese, when you talk to somebody, very often we add a simple title to the end of the person's name, even if it's a more casual form of speech. We sometimes add san. We say the person's name, it ends with san. So, like if someone were talking to me, you would be calling me Ruku san, for example. And there are many different options、uh, for this kind of ending for san, but、um, we'll、uh, see what, what they're like. Let me write that in a darker color, too, so you can see through the The glare of that, that light. That's a little bit better. So, and I'll write it up here too, just to make it perfectly clear what this san is. So, you may have seen that before. San means Mr., Miss, Mrs., any of those variations.、Um, so, this sama is the more formal version of that. If you will, san came from this sama and has been shortened into just san. But in this case, the sama is doing something a little bit different. Its basic, most fundamental meaning, more than just being an honorific sort of title that we add to a person's name, is the idea of appearance, of the, the face of something. That's why it's used as a kind of title that we can add to somebody's name. So, in a very formal context, someone might call me Ruk s a m a So, the idea being conveyed is you, Luke, the appearance of you, almost like a mask. Think of like old、uh, types of. Ancient theater, maybe ancient Greek theater or old Japanese theater, wearing a mask, and that mask represents who they are. So that's sort of the idea of where this sama comes from and why it's used as a person's name. But the fundamental meaning of appearance is what we're seeing here. So this sama, giving the idea of appearance, of seeming somehow, is the idea that's being conveyed in this very set expression. This is a very set expression. By set expression, I mean, it's idiomatic. It's an idiom. It's an expression that's used all the time. It doesn't make perfect logical sense on its own until you break up the parts and you see where it all comes from. So, there, now we have the basic idea of what all these parts are. O tsukare sama, this. O, okay, s o m e o referring not to me. Tsukare, fatigue, tired. Sama, seeming, this. So, this is an expression that you can say to somebody else. What would it literally mean? What's kind of some of this? Oh, you look tired, sir. Oh, you look tired, ma'am. So that seems kind of funny. Why would people even bother saying to, that to each other? This is an expression usually used by co workers talking to each other. They pass each other in the hallway and say, What's kind of some of this? What's kind of some of this? And the idea, instead of just saying, Konnichiwa or o h a y o gozaimasu, instead of saying one of those normal greetings, they say,、uh, Oh, you look tired. My God, why do you? That sounds like quite an insult to,、uh, at least to me as an English speaker. Oh, you look tired. Wow, that's, that's kind of insulting.、Uh, 
Um, but the idea is you are working so hard that you seem fatigued by it. So what this is closest to in English is keep up the good work. That is what this is basically means. Keep up the good work, but they use it as a greeting all the time. Let's go some of this. Let's go some of this. And I'm saying it pretty quickly now. So let's let's slow it down and take it step by step. Remember my trick of going backwards with a word. Start with this and block out the rest. So just this, okay? Some of this. Some of this. De some of this. De some of this. Tsukare some of this. Tsukare some of this. O tsukare some of this. O tsukare some of this. O tsukare some of this. You have to really keep saying it again and again to get the nice, comfortable flow. And Japanese people will say it so fast, so fast, in fact, that you'll hear an interesting abbreviation where the sama almost totally vanishes. They say it so quickly, so quickly. So instead of saying, oh, it's got some of this, it'll sound like, oh, it's got us, oh, it's got us. It's almost like they just skip the sama and the de. So if you were to cut out those parts, it would sound like, oh, it's got us, oh, it's got us. And uh, that's pretty fast. It's not necessarily the highest level of formality. Whenever you make something that's simpler, it usually reduces the level of formality. So it depends who you're talking to. Maybe Oskaris is totally normal for the person and coworker or you're talking to. But maybe if it's like a boss or something, you want to say something more clearly spoken. Make sure you get all the little syllables in there. So this is not just a greeting for coworkers though. It's also a greeting used by friends, and that's a really interesting part of it uh, because I, I was kind of surprised when I first was hanging out with Japanese friends of mine, and then we'd meet other friends, also Japanese, and they would greet each other with, Otsukai-sama! Otsukai-sama! So they would cut out the this part completely, and they would just say, Otsukai-sama! Otsukai-sama! That would be their greeting, and I was surprised, like, wow, I thought this was just something used for coworkers. But the hardworking Japanese, uh, such as they are, so enjoy and appreciate hard work that that idea transferred from a work environment comes into normal casual speech. So what makes this casual? Because the this, like I mentioned, is a way that we can express sir or ma'am. So if we're just talking friends, meeting each other, what's guys sama, what's guys sama, hey, how you doing? It's kind of like that, hey, what's up, hey, how you doing? That's a normal American English sort of way to say the same thing in that sort of situation. Uh, could you say the words for hello, um, good morning in those situations too? Absolutely. Well, you'll hear this a lot, and it's a good expression. Using it makes you sound like uh, you've lived here for a while. And uh, they can even get so short as to say just, what's got it, what's got it? So that is how that works. One other thing to note is that I've written here, it here in the full kanji. Sometimes they will uh, write some or parts of any set expression. It was an expression that people say a lot. They usually take out the kanji. For an example, you might know the word arigato, thank you. There's kanji that go with that. No one ever uses them. Um, and the same thing for konbanwa, konnichiwa. There are kanji associated with those words, but those expressions are used so often and the meaning of the expression has been so separated from the meaning of the kanji that they just don't bother with the kanji. This is a set expression, so you might see it with the full kanji like this, written to you in a text message or an email, or uh, you might see it written completely in hiragana, and that's entirely normal. If you have any questions at all about this expression or any other, please put a comment in the description of this video, and uh, I'll try to get back to you. Let's go some of this.